finding tenths on the number line. So check this out. What is the value of the yellow circle? Well, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is know what is this number line broken into? From here to here, that's one. And then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. We have 10 equal parts, which means each of these little jumps is 1 tenth. From here, zero, to this little tick mark right here, that's 1 tenth. All right, and then from here to here is another one tenth, and another one tenth, and another one tenth, and another one tenth. How many one tenths was that? Is the question. Well, you can see we have one, two, three, four, five tenths. So this yellow dot represents five tenths. If we were to, if we wanted to write that as a decimal, it's easy. Let's just picture a place value chart. Five tenths. I have five in the tenths place. So that's exactly what we would write five in the tenths place. I don't have any ones. We'd have to make it all the way to this number before I have any ones. I still got zero. So five tenths, five tenths. Five tenths is right here in the number line. So in this situation, we still have the number line broken into th uh, 10 equal sections. From here to here is 10 sections, and then from here to here is also 10 sections. But we don't need to start from zero this time. We can start from this whole number right here and count up. So from here to here, we already said there's 10 equal parts. So each jump is one tenth. So then this is one tenth, that's one, that's one tenth, and that's another one tenth, almost there, one tenth. Okay, so how many jumps did we make? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. We had eight of these one tenths, that's eight tenths. But we didn't just have eight tenths. Remember, we started from one, so that's one, and we jumped eight tenths past that. So in other words, that's one and eight tenths. So it's one plus eight tenths. But we will read it as one and eight tenths. You notice that it's almost two. It's almost, not quite, but it's almost two. But right now, we're just close to two, but still one and eight tenths. Now, what about as a decimal? All right, I'm looking at the ones in the tenths place. This time I do need the ones place because look, I have one plus the eight tenths that I have. So we're gonna have one in the ones place, eight in the tenths place, that's one and eight tenths. Both of these are read as one and eight tenths. Excellent. Which of the following is an accurate estimation of where the arrow is pointing? We wanna know, what is this? Or at least, which one of these is most likely where the arrow is pointing? Let's start off by eliminating the ones we know that are wrong. I can tell you right now, four is wrong. I don't even need to, no. Listen, you know how I know four is wrong? Cause it's right there. I already know where four is on the number line. It's definitely not here. We're not gonna say this is three and then four and then four again. What? No, that doesn't make sense. And there's another one I can eliminate right away because look, this number line is from three to four. So that means our number where this arrow is pointing is greater than three, but it's less than four. This is one and one tenths, child please. Now all of these decimals that I have left over are in fact more than three, but less than four. So now we gotta make a decision, but we can still eliminate some more. Now what I'm thinking, just like remember when we said one and eight tenths was almost two? Guess what? Three and nine tenths is almost four. I'm pretty sure three and nine tenths is gonna be somewhere around here. So we can eliminate that one as well. So now it's come down to this, dun dun dun. We're breaking this into tenths. This is the tenths place, three and two tenths, three and five tenths. So we would split this number line up into 10 equal parts. Now, if it's broken into 10 equal parts, that means five tenths would probably be halfway because we would have five tenths from here to here and then five tenths from here to here as a total of 10 parts. So three and five tenths is probably in the middle, which is why I think that three and two tenths is the best answer here, yeah. Okay, so three and two tenths was the most likely to be, and look, I was right, three and five tenths is right in the middle because we got from here to here is five tenths, and then from here to here is five tenths, that's 10 tenths. So five tenths is right in the middle between three and four. Three and five tenths is right in the middle, I should say. In this video, you learned a little bit about placing or finding tenths on the number line. I hope it was helpful.